What's up, Blood Strike Gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we will do a deep head to head comparison between two of the most iconic SMGs in the game, the P90 and the MP5. We're not just looking at stats, we're talking about attachments, gameplay strategies, and which gun is worth mastering. So grab your snacks, get comfy, and let's find out which of these bad boys deserves a spot in your loadout. Alright, guys, let's kick things off by taking a closer look at the stats for both weapons. We're going to break down damage, range, fire rate, recoil control, mobility, accuracy, and, of course, how they feel in matches. But since each weapon performs differently with different attachments, so we've picked out some top-notch loadouts for both the P90 and the MP5. Here's the setup for the P90. And here's what we've got for the MP5. In this video, we're gonna compare these loadouts. First up, let's talk about damage and range. The MP5 has a bit more advantage with a damage stat of 23 compared to the P90's 21. Not a huge difference, but every point counts, right? When it comes to range, the MP5 takes the lead again with a range of 13 while the P90's 10. So if you're looking to engage enemies at a slightly longer distance, the MP5 might be your go-to. But hold up, range isn't everything in close quarters combat. Now, fire rate, this is where things get more interesting. The P90 is a beast with a fire rate of 64, blowing the MP5's 57 out of the water. In those close quarters battles where every millisecond counts, the P90's rapid fire capabilities can be a game changer. You'll be taking down enemies before they even know what hit them. It's all about that spray and prey action. Next up, recoil control. This is where the MP5 shines. With a recoil control stat of 48, it's almost tripled the P90-16. If you struggle to keep your aim steady, the MP5 superior recoil control will help you stay on target and land those crucial shots. You can definitely feel the difference when you're trying to take out enemies at mid-range. Less recoil means more accuracy, and more accuracy means more kills. Now, let's talk about mobility and accuracy. The P90 is the Usain Bolt of SMGs with a mobility stat of 69 compared to the MP553. If you love to rush and flank your enemies, the P90's speed is unbeatable. You'll be flying around the map, getting up close and personal. When it comes to accuracy, though, the P90 is the clear winner with a whopping 93, while the MP5 sits at 61. So, the P90 not only moves fast, but also hits where it hurts. Now, let's talk about how these SMGs perform in different in-game scenarios. If you're playing on smaller maps with tight corners, the P90's rapid fire and high mobility gives you a huge advantage. You can rush, flank, and surprise your enemies with ease. Just remember to keep moving and use the cover to your advantage. On larger maps, the MP5 shines. Its better recoil control and damage at range make it perfect for holding down lanes and picking off enemies from a distance. You can still move quickly, but you'll have the accuracy to engage at mid-range effectively. So, which one is worth playing? Well, it depends on your playstyle. If you love fast-paced, aggressive gameplay and getting up close to your enemies, the P90 is your best bet. Its fire rate and mobility are unmatched, making it a deadly choice in close quarters combat. But if you prefer a more balanced approach with the ability to engage at both close and mid-range, the MP5 is the way to go. Its superior recoil control and damage make it a versatile and reliable weapon in any situation. Personally, I love the P90 for its speed and spray and prey potential, but the MP5's accuracy and control can't be ignored. Try out both setups and see which one fits your playstyle best. That's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments which SMG you prefer and why. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.